Okay, we're back, and uh, Link, let's show a few pictures here of you riding in different terrain. And uh, does this give you more confidence? Now, I know I've rode, and, and of course, I'm going to ask you, when you got to Borium on, what kind of confidence do you have if you get in a place where you've got to go up rocks or steep, steep uh, embankment? Uh, it really does give you a lot more confidence just with a, a flat shoe versus the Borium because when you're out there packing six or seven miles up in the mountains and you don't want your horse to fall, then have to come all the way back. And especially being so far out there, injuries cause a major problem. And plus, you got all your gear. You got a sleep, you got your sleeping gear, <laughs> you got your rifle, and, and you just got a lot of important gear there that you can lose on a moment's no special horse falls. And plus, you may have to try to figure out how you're going to get back. That's a good point. You got to take care of your gear too. So the thing about it, but it does give you a lot more confidence when you're out there. So I have taught you, you're, I guess, well, I know what you're doing. You're actually tapping the shoe. In other words, you bore holes in the, and you tap it. Let's show a picture of that again. And you can see, let the folks see that you have to tap those holes and then you screw these things in the borium. They screw in. And, but of course, when you go on a trailer, you don't put them in until you get where you're going and then you screw them in there, and, you, and I put that Loctite on mine. Mm -hmm. That way they won't work their way out. Mm -hmm. And you're good to go, I mean, for two weeks, a month. You're really good to go for a whole month mm -hmm. and not have no problem. What's the longest you've been out hunting? Uh, probably the longest I've been out hunting is about three and a half weeks. And uh, being a fair myself, it's, it's easy to keep the shoes on, but once you're out there in the woods, there's no possible way you can actually put Borium on your horse's shoes. So uh, actually tapping the holes, I'll carry a few extra studs with me, and if one does decide to come out, you just screw it right back in. You know, what I'm gonna do here, Link, we came up here to Research Center, and I'm gonna show a shot of that, of actually putting, a, instead of having a spare tire, and a lot of people don't know what a spare tire is. Spare tire is when you got an extra shoe, but you gotta be able to nail it on. But if you get a loose shoe, we've come up, this young man built this, and Dave, and he came up with a great idea. And any horse owner, anybody that can't shoe can put this on, but you kind of got to train them how to wrap it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show a picture of that actual wrapping the foot with this. And all you need is a pair of little surgical gloves and this little pack. And heck, the thing is light. I mean, very light. I guess we better pull our mules in and hold it and take another break. I'm telling you what, it's just, oh, it's a wonderful day. We're having a great time here right here on Horse Shin Time. Pull your mules in, go by the refrigerator, get yourself king size cocoa. We're going to be right back. Sometimes these things are a little hard like to get in. I wanted to screw them in and kind of you got to back off. But once you get it doing, you put a little Loctite on it before you screw it in. There's two that goes on the toe. I want to get a couple of these in and give the guys out there a chance to see this. And one goes on each heel and then you want two on the toe. And these right here are ideal. But they're a little hard to get in. That's the reason you want to put, they got a little uh, plastic thing that screws in there. And I thought we had, when we dropped another one out, mm -hmm. you can see I've got that one cross-threaded. Or Now I got it going, or I didn't. But anyway, you can see you got one on each toe, and I didn't get that screwed in there good. So either I'm going to have to re-tap that hole, probably. It's actually a shoe that come off my horse, so it might be a little worn. <laughs> yeah, I know. But you got one on each toe, one on each heel. These screw in. This right here is great if you're going on a long trip. You tap, you want to tap everything and then nail your shoe on. And then, of course, you want to put those little plastic deals in there. And then when you get out of your trailer, you screw these on, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is going to be good. And then when you get off your hunting trip, you can take them off before you put the horse back in the trailer. So I like this. Now, another thing, if you're going on a short trip, like say if you're going, if I, instead of going this, because this is expensive. So if I was going on a short trip, say, oh, I'd say a couple of hundred miles, not, not or two or three hundred miles, just going to be on a short time. I'd put some dirt, two or three inches of dirt in my trailer, and then I'd put the board. And I'm going to show how that works, Link. See, what we're going to do is, let me lay this down. And uh, let me put this shoe. Now, what I'm going to do is take a piece of the tungsten and show how that puts on, because it's basically simple to put it on even with a gas forge. Now a lot of guys will use a torch to do it, but acetylene is very expensive. This is the most inexpensive. But you want to shape your shoe gang how the fair wants to shape it and get it just level and ready to go on the foot before you put this on because that's very difficult too. And while I'm heating this shoe, 
We're going to take a short break. We'll be back and we'll put this on for you, show you how it works. Hang with us. Thank you.